Laying hens are housed in closed barns for several reasons, including protection from the environment, diseases, and predators. Producers can carefully monitor barn conditions to ensure that they are ideal for the hens. Furthermore, the photo period, or day length, can be controlled to stimulate egg production when the hens normally would stop laying. Producers need healthy flocks for high egg production, therefore disease prevention is a priority. Biosecurity protocols such as proper hygiene, traffic control, and restricting the people who have access to the barns helps reduce the likelihood of bacteria and viruses entering the barns. Hens must also have adequate calcium, phosphorus, and vitamin D in their diet to support the production of eggshells. This must be provided in the feed throughout the entire laying cycle. As a normal hen matures, it builds up calcium deposits in their bones which will be used to form eggshells for the length of the laying cycle. Standard conventional laying cages typically house four to six hens, depending on the size of the cage. The cages are designed to maximize space and efficiency of production. There are alternative caging systems being used by some producers. Colony cages house 12 to 20 birds and have features like dust baths and nest boxes. Modified cages utilize conventional cages that are enriched to include nest boxes and perches. If current trends continue, these alternative caging systems may become standard. A laying hen will produce on average 300 eggs per year, which is about 25 dozen eggs. This would make a stack of cartons almost 2 meters tall. The enormous feat of egg production is accomplished by the hen's highly developed reproductive tract. Let's take a closer look. The hen's reproductive tract begins at the infundibulum and ends with the cloaca. The infundibulum catches the yolk that is released by the ovary. The ovary contains thousands of follicles in different stages of development. This is called the follicular hierarchy. Once a day, the ovary releases a follicle, which is the yolk component of the eggs we eat. The hierarchy ensures there are a sufficient number of follicles to produce roughly one egg per day. The hormones from the largest follicle initiate ovulation, which is the release of the follicle from the ovary. Unlike mammals, which normally have two functioning ovaries, hens only have a functional left ovary. The follicle is caught by the infundibulum and travels down the oviduct. Glands within the oviduct add the egg white or albumin, shell membranes, and calcium layers, which form the shell. The egg exits the reproductive tract by way of the cloaca, which is an opening for both the reproductive and digestive systems. Remember that a laying hen will still lay eggs despite the fact that a male rooster is absent. These eggs are not fertilized, so they will not produce a chick. Elevators move eggs from the upper and lower tiers to the collection table where they are collected either mechanically or manually twice daily. Eggs are kept out of reach of the hen to prevent breaking, cracking, and soiling. When the belts are engaged, the eggs are transported to the end of the row. Elevators move eggs from the upper and lower tiers to the collection table where they are collected either mechanically or manually twice daily. Heavily soiled or cracked eggs are removed at this point. To maintain food safety and product quality, eggs must be cooled. These eggs are kept in a cooler on the farm until they are shipped to grading facilities. Eggs are transported to grading stations in refrigerated trucks once or twice a week. Once the eggs are cleaned and graded, they are sent to their final destination. Retail stores will receive whole eggs, egg-related products, or other value-added products from egg processing facilities. Commercial egg producers pride themselves on their ability to produce high-quality, safe eggs. High production depends on healthy and happy laying hens, which are necessary for an economically viable farm.